Do you snore at night? Snoring can be a huge issue for numerous people. What you may not know is that it is directly related to your sleeping patterns. Snoring affects approximately 45% of men and 30% of women. Certain things such as drinking alcohol or taking medications can cause you to snore. Snoring is caused by vibrations. These vibrations cause particles in the air to form sound waves. When your stomach makes those rumbling noises, it is because your stomach is vibrating as air and food passes through. When a person is sleeping, airflow causes the tissues on the roof of your mouth or palate and throat to vibrate. This results in that familiar snoring sound. Snoring causes lots of problems for people. If you snore, this can affect your partner quite badly, causing them to lose sleep. Snoring could be a sign that you have a certain medical condition. Snoring is related to your breathing process. Your body naturally wants to breathe through your nose. While this is not a problem for most people, it is extremely difficult for others. People with blocked nasal passages suffer with allergies, a deviated septum, sinus infections, or a swelling of the large adenoids in the back of your throat. One of the most common reasons that you snore is due to narrow airways. Your tonsils are located at the back of your mouth and swell to fight bacteria and viruses. Sometimes after fighting an infection, your tonsils do not return to the normal size. They stay enlarged and cause your airway to become narrow. Your airway starts to vibrate, and this causes you to snore. Your mouth has several components. One of these is the soft palate. This is the flap of tissue that hangs down in the back of your mouth. If this piece of tissue is too long or flops all over the place, it can cause snoring. From this soft palate, your uvula hangs down, and if this is unusually long or thick, it can cause snoring issues. The base of your tongue is the portion of your tongue which is located at the very back of your mouth. Your tongue is a large muscle that helps direct your food while chewing and swallowing. Another function of the tongue is that it helps you form your words. Your tongue is attached to the inner part of your jawbone in the front and to your hyoid bone in the bottom. To work correctly, your tongue must be able to move freely. This is why it is not attached very tightly at the top of your tongue. If your tongue is not able to slip backwards, it can narrow your airflow space which flows into your pharynx. When this movement is hindered, it results in you snoring.